Yo, what is up? It's your boy Trees and welcome to a brand new Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. In this video, I will be talking about the Assassin's Creed new gameplay. I haven't been playing the game myself, but I collected all the information there is about Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I have a friend that is currently playing the game, so I know more about the game that I should probably know at this point. All the details to the gameplay, for example, hunting, fishing, raiding, recruiting members for your raid parties, building your settlement, drinking games, also collectibles, quests, side quests, boss battles, looting, abilities, and much and much more. Before I go into the information, I do want to give you a hats up because you can get the Moonlight X if you click on the link in the description and log into the official Ubisoft website, guys. Make sure to do it. You will get the X once the game releases. In the beginning, when you start up Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you can choose between a female or a male Eivor. Most of you guys already knew that. But guys, that choice is not permanent, so you can actually change sex anytime that you want in the game. When you start off the game, you will see that you can choose between arcs. Looking at the map, you can choose where to raid first. A friend of me told me that the game right now, as it is, the dialogues in it are actually pretty mediocre. We see in the gameplay that stealth is back in the game, but also guys, a lot of people asked for this feature, but now you have to manually toggle your hood in order to go into stealth mode. During combat, every single enemy has a weak spot. So if you hit this weak spot, your enemy will instantly die. Dual wielding will actually have more depth than we thought in the first place. You can literally use weapons separately. If you use R1, you're using the right weapon. And if you use L1, you're using your left weapon. You can even attack with shields or carry two shields at the same time. So in terms of combat, the hidden blade is back in Assassin's Creed but so far we haven't seen any gameplay of that just yet. In all the areas of the world of Assassin's Creed Valhalla you have different boss fights and there are quite a lot of them and for every single boss fight you have to use a different tactic so it won't even get boring at all. In Assassin's Creed Valhalla there are plenty of different raids and just the way that you go into it depends on the playstyle that you want to use. You can go in full assault and literally kill everyone right away or you go in with a bit of stealth and stealth makes you're able to actually see the enemies through the walls. Free running in Assassin's Creed Valhalla just looks as good as any other Assassin's Creed game before. And also the soundtracks are really living up to the expectations and are giving us a great vibe in this nice environment. While playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you might find yourself some letters. Well, these letters can send you to a particular location on the map, for example, to a quest or a hidden item. And you can just basically only go there or only know that item is there when you do find that letter. At the very ending of the Ubisoft Forward event, we saw in the Assassin's Creed gameplay that we can actually go to a viewpoint, meaning we can synchronize the game and create a point to fast travel to. Just like we see in Red Dead Redemption or Ghost of Tsushima, you can whistle actually to get your horse back. Right here, we actually can use the horn if you are really close to the water to make sure that the longship actually comes our way. I personally have been playing a lot of Assassin's Creed Black Flag and there you actually had fights on the ships. Here in Assassin's Creed Valhalla you won't have a combat feature on the ship itself. Ships are really made to travel from one point to the other. Ships are not made to attack with, they are made to raid. I saw a lot of people were curious how this game will play on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox and the PC guys. I will let you know that obviously this game has been built Built not for the new generation so it's not built for the PlayStation 5 it's not built for the Xbox Series X obviously you'll be able to play those games on these consoles you could just use backwards capability to be able to play that PlayStation 4 game on the PlayStation 5 for example in combat when Aver gets hit obviously his health will go down quite a bit how can you actually up that health it doesn't go up automatically anymore you have to go ahead and fish or actually hunt because in a Assassin's Creed Valhalla food is the only way to get your health back up. My friends actually told me that the only bug that they saw so far is actually people bouncing around the map after you kill them, especially if they fall off something. So that is a little bit buggy. And another downside to the game right now must be the dialogue so far. Obviously, like you probably know already, the game is still in progress. And everyone that has been playing the game so far, they played 
a demo of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So it's not the full game so far, but right now I'm insanely happy guys with what I've seen so far. I've been looking at exclusive gameplay that no one has seen so far just yet as well, which I can't show you here in the video because I will probably get copyright strike if I do so. But my impressions are overall really, really good. It looks good and I think this could be one of the best games this year. The open world looks amazing. Also, there is so much to do in the game. I think you can play this game for hundreds and hundreds of hours. If you want to see more Assassin's Creed Valhalla videos, feel free to subscribe and turn on post notifications, guys. And also like this video if you think it deserves to rank higher in YouTube, guys. And let me know down below in the comments what you think is the most awesome thing about Assassin's Creed so far. I have much more information, so make sure to check tomorrow's video.